Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy. Transformation, I already have transformation. Let's do this. Underground harbor. in library but I did not find it earlier because I was not thorough enough <coughs> yeah there are lots of field guide pages man. the book Professor Weasley wants me to get us upstairs. Ravelli. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. There I have it. Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The Golden Snidget. Correct! What? The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. I Sadly, it's thought away. to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? This I know. Felix Felicis. Well done! Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The Founder's Relics. No, the answer was the Deathly Hallows. Oh, According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consist of the Elder Wand, oh, the man. Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Bludgeon, the Bludger. The Bludger. I'm sorry, but the correct answer was the Quaffle. When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false, Polly 
use potion allows a drinker to change species. Poly use potion. True. Actually, the answer was false. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Oh, well, no. I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I'd like to answer more questions. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? The Order of Merlin. No, that's incorrect. The answer was the Wizard's Council. The Wizard's Council disbanded in... Which dragon breed is the smallest? I think... Maybe. The Ukrainian Iron Belly. No, I'm sorry. Though the Viper Tooth is a... Who founded the village of Hogsmeade? Quincy Hogg. No, the answer was Hengist. Yes, I it thought is so, but I did not. The Hengist used the three broomstick. The hive behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? A demi guys. Yes. While the hive behind has the power of in, what is the only spell known to repel a lethefold? The knockback jinx. Actually, the answer was the Patronus charm. The, who published the law of elemental transfiguration? I don't know. The Vern de Montmorency. That's incorrect. One of the principal exceptions. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? Knowledge is the real magic. No, the answer was, in Latin, the Hogwarts motto is Drake, which magical creature is the only one known to produce eggs through its mouth? The Basilisk. That's incorrect. The correct answer, according to parcel mouths, each of, where is Ilvermorny School of which? The Amazon Rainforest. No. I only got like one the, right there. What is the most powerful? Venus it is serum. Incorrect. Are you interested in continuing on to the next round? There my I don't have time for another quiz at the moment. That's fine. Come I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. इतना सवाल पूछती है ये बाप रे बाप मेरे को शायद हॉगवर्स के बारे में कुछ भी नहीं पता कितना आंसर रोंग दिया मैं ये का आंसर शायद मैंने राइट दिया तो वो भी तुक्का लगा के मतलब सेकंड राउंड वाला बोल रहा हूँ फर्स्ट राउंड में तो फिर भी तीन चार मेरा सही हुआ था दो तीन सही हुआ तो तीन चार था सेकंड राउंड में एक सही हुआ मेरा एक सब गलत जीरो नॉलेज है बहुत बहुत ऐसा लगा इधर से भी जाने का रास्ता है क्या अच्छा मैं वहीं से फाइन जा रहा हूँ अंडरग्राउंड है ये ये जगह तो मैं पहली बार आ रहा हूँ Rebellion. 
So this is the underground harbor. Configuration. My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you, or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. done. Can we meet at the Three Broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed, and frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you were able to grow a venomous tentacular. Growing such a magical plant is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities? Was your extended conversation with Mr. Ollivander after you'd obtained your wand, or subsequent search of the Owlery, connected in any way to Professor Fig? Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed.
Hello, Gareth. So, has your aunt been taking it a bit easier on you lately? Unfortunately, no. In fact, a few days ago, she gave me a detention. I was only testing a new recipe in a, mostly, empty classroom, and the fire was put out quick enough. <coughs> you don't create anything worthwhile without setting a few things on fire. Agreed. Innovators like us are unappreciated in our time. Can't let the doubters sway me. When they taste my latest brew, they'll forget their criticisms and the fires. It'll be bigger than Butterbeer. Oh, that gives me an idea. Better write it down. Best of luck to you. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. We have the third spell set for capturing beasts only. I need to learn Bombarda. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. There must be a field guide near there. I hope Rookwood knows what he's doing. There's a big one.
डाटा सीखने के बाद तो फिर से वापस आना ही है ना ये कुछ अलग ही एनिमल लग रहा है Where is this taking? Oh, am I going down? is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Thank <laughs> you. 
the Nash wind upon myself. Thank <laughs> you. 
These are the ones. Assignment's all finished. चेक करता रहता हूँ वो भी चल रहा है कि नहीं Today, class dismissed. Ugh, can't say I take it you're ready to learn your new spell. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Is well done. The advanced version of Confringo, but I will still keep this. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Oh, Excellent one work. Cast the spell just like that every time. <laughs> I'm gonna use this from now on. Uh, not doing this one now. First, we'll go for the Sebastian mission. Okay, first we go top. Okay, this is quite fun. Still, it's 
it's open right no problem no problem oh those of you who don't know that serious and a bit unsettling yes what i am in the, the living club you're here and good sebastian that relic you mentioned I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Rebellion! Oh, we have to go on and go down. Bobana! Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, the spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Conspicuous loft. Brilliant. The relic won't be that easy to find. Another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. We got him, Leviosa. Now, this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur in men's some. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Oh, 
Something here by the altar. Repair. What did you find? Assume eerie sounds come with the territory. like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Leave no stone unturned. No bone. Revelio. If this archway's been barricaded, we can find a way through. We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Okay, I need... Yeah, I need at least... Lumos here. Lumos! Lumos!
Lumos. Lumos. 
You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Here we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. How gracious of you. I feel. Uh -huh.
este tigre, si no te verta. Shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. See why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Revelio. Sebastian, the relic. Look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. The note advises to leave the relic alone. I assure you, we were meant to find this. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. 
Let's get to Feldcroft. Shit. I must keep this relic secret, especially for my uncle. And who is that? Is that ominous? Yes. Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. I can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. Convince Sebastian this is wrong. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him. But I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. I Sebastian! We're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance. That the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't... Is almost time. Oh, 
Hey. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne.
Unforgivable curse from that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. There was little time to react, but it was an unforgivable curse. I acted in the moment. That's all. I shall make my uncle see reason. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. फैमिली मेम्बर से बात करने के लिए मेरे को ही क्यों जाना पड़ता है आज What's he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian acted rashly, but he acted out of instinct to save Anne. Out of instinct? With an unforgivable curse? This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? You don't know what I do with Anna Dalian. Oh, Anna, I'm going to dark magic. You can never know. I'm going to go to the headmaster. I'm going to go to the